Welcome to this video on using the text before and text after functions to pull out data in Microsoft Excel. So I've got a really simple example for you to work with and we're going to make it a little bit complex in the second half of this video. But you can see there that I've got some email addresses and I need the first name and the last name. And this actually happened to me a couple of days ago. So I went on, had a look worked out how to use these functions and I thought this would be a really great video because I'm sure other people have this issue as well where they're given just an email address and they do need to pull information out. Now Excel is quite clever so if I start to type in that first name column Alice and then David and then Chris it may work out what I'm trying to do and it may want to pre-populate the rest of them and it does work like that way with the last name as well but it doesn't always work. So what you may want to use is the text before on the text after functions to put in some formula type pieces to find that data just in case the automatic AI within Excel is not working for you. So let's do this for my first name and last name. Remember, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Remember, you can use the formula bar at the top. You can use the function bar. Um, or you can just start typing in, which is what I usually like to do because I like to build my functions and my formulas up from scratch. So when you're doing any, please do remember to do an equal sign tells us in Excel, you're going to start to calculate something. And then the simple way of doing this is text before. So if I put in text and put and just select text before, that one's going to put text before in. So now I want all of the text before the full stop because all of my email addresses are first name dot last name at example so this is going to be really easy for me to work out so I need to tell the system what information it's looking at so I'm going to select the email cell then remember when you're separating out anything in a formula in a function you're going to press the comma and then I just need in speech marks to tell tell Excel what I want it to pull, where I want it to stop. So I want it to stop at the full stop because I want Alice. So I'm going to put my initial speech mark in. I'm going to put a full stop and then I'm going to put another one to close it off. So that says to Excel, look at that C, um, C2. I want everything before the full stop. Very simple. Close your brackets, press enter. You can see Alice has appeared there. If I click on that and I click in the bottom right and drag it down, you'll see it's just pulled everything there. Now, if I want capital letters and things like that, remember there are functions and you can play around with the text formatting as well to make that nice and easy for you. So that one's super easy, but for the last name, it's going to get a little bit more complex because it's in between information. It's after the full stop but it's before the at sign. So I'm going to have to mix a couple of functions together. So we'll go through this one nice and slowly so you can see how it's built. So I'm going to do an equals again and I'm still going to do text before. And then it, my brackets are opened, but because I'm doing text after as well, before I put in anything, before I click on any boxes, any cells to tell Excel what to do, I'm going to type in text after and pop that in there as well. So I've got two brackets open and it's really important that you know that because you're going to have to close both those brackets. So first off, I want to tell the system again what cell it's looking at. So I'm kind of hovered over at the moment. So I'm going to type it in. I'm going to do a C2 and do a comma to close that off. So now it knows what it wants to look at. So now I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell Excel where I want it to start. Now I want it to start after the full stop. So remember the speech marks from the last one, speech marks, full stop, speech marks. Nice and simple, nice and easy. I've done that bit, so I'm going to close those brackets. When I've done that, I'm going to put a comma in because we're going to break it up a little bit. And then I need to tell it when to stop. So it knows to do after the full stop, but I need to tell it to stop once it's got to the at sign. So what I'm going to do here is speech marks again, 
at sign, speech marks, and then close the brackets. So you can see I've opened the brackets twice, I've closed the brackets twice, I've used speech marks to tell the system what it needs to look for, and I'm now ready to press enter, and fingers crossed, I've got Johnson that's appeared. So it's looked after the full stop and before that at sign. So when I scroll down there and pull that down, you can now see it's pulled those last names in there. So if, if the automatic process on Excel isn't working for you when you type in a few of them and it works out what you're trying to do, then the text before and the text after might be quite useful for you to work with. So please do have a go at those. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.